talk. Now we all know about female nature, hypergamy, and how they use men as tools. Well, most of them. And, uh, well, most men don't realize it. They don't know it, you know, but men like me know this. That's why we don't get caught up in the bullshit. Don't mean we, we, we dislike women. We just uh, protect ourselves from the fuckery. And some women know the uh, male nature of men trying to use women. And they protect themselves. And they don't get caught up in the fuck. But let's talk about why people actually talk to multiple people. You ever wonder, like, why, why does a man want to talk to multiple women? Or why do women want to talk to multiple men? Or date multiple people? The biggest answer to that is because... They feel like, oh, this man is good for this. This man got this, that. And this other man got that. And this other man got this. Basically, all the men they talk to don't add up to the man they got in their little head, which is a perfect man that does not exist. And we're going to get to that in a minute. And the same thing with men. You know, why Why does he want to keep fucking this woman and that, that woman? New pussy, blah, blah, blah. Because he thinks in his little ass mind, he actually thinks that multiple women are different. Like, oh, she's different in this way. This one's different in that way. And even if it is true to a certain extent, it still screams out loud that these people are saying that you are not good enough for them. You as yourself aren't good enough in their opinion, in their eyes. But let's analyze it and dissect that down to the shoe on the other foot. See, if people looked in the mirror and realized that they don't have everything, and they never will have everything. It's impossible to have every fucking thing perfect. And even if you do have everything perfect as a man or a woman, there still could be another man or woman that might be better in this category than you or that category than you. There's always somebody better at whatever. You might be better than them at certain things or whatever. Y'all get the point. Nobody is perfect. And the whole point of nobody is perfect is the definition of nobody being able to just do everything that you want. You, yourself, as a person, yeah, you could build yourself up to that, but finding that in another person, that's not fair to them. That's not fair for somebody to ask somebody to be this perfect person that these people can't even be themselves. So how can a human being ask another human being to be perfect at all aspects of life when they are not perfect at all aspects of life? Think about it. Because that's what these men and women are doing. That's why they, they talk to other women and men behind your back or or even in your face sometimes. This is why they cheat. This is why men cheat. This is why women talk to other men. Because they are basically saying, you alone aren't enough. I need more. I need to talk to more men for this. I need to talk to more women for that. It's not fair, y'all. So be careful out here how these people think, man. To me, a woman don't have to be perfect at all. You know, I... It's a part of appreciating a person. If a woman is good enough for me, she's good enough for me. It ain't about, oh, well, she got to do this too, and I need her to do that too. You know why it's not about that? Because ultimately, I'm a grown-ass man. Therefore, a lot of things, I could pretty much do anything myself. I don't really need a woman to do anything. However, you want companionship. See, the problem with relationships today is everybody wants everybody to do things for them. That's why they in relationships. Instead of doing it for themselves, they get in relationships to get shit from people so people could do things for people. And that's what I mean by using somebody as a tool. Men do it and women do it. It's not just women. It's men too. So when you run into somebody who seems like they for everybody or they got to talk to multiple people, just understand for one, they are saying you're not good enough, so leave them alone. For two, they don't understand that there is no such thing as somebody just being perfect and they're going to have everything all together. Because they are, you know what I mean? It's not going to happen. They are giving you an unrealistic chance, basically. And if you don't apply with this perfect person that they got ahead that does not exist, 
They're going to talk to other people for this or for that. And they still and they still going to fall short. This is why you can have men fucking 10 different women and still not be happy. This is why you can have women getting get hit weed from him, getting bills paid from him, attention from him and all that. And they miserable. Why? Because it's not enough. Because they not looking for themselves. All that shit you looking for in this man and this man and this man and this man, look for it in yourself. Same thing with y'all men. That's why a lot of men who sleep around, they have problems. They not happy inside. They looking for some fulfillment. They feel like, ooh, if I sleep with a bunch of women, I'm some man. I'm, I'm the shit. They, they not happy inside, man. So they need that fulfillment. That's why they do it, man. That's why a woman, a great ass woman will never be enough. He'll still cheat. Because you're not enough to fulfill that inside of him because he didn't do it. He got to do it first, y'all. Just like the women, they got to make themselves happy first. So all this shit that I hear about, uh, if a man keep talking to multiple men until you find a man that does everything, ev all everything you want, it's not going to happen. And even if it does, I promise you won't be satisfied because you'll be looking over the fence. Oh, I, yeah, this guy got money, but that guy, but there, it looks like he doing, get, he's doing getting money better. Oh, yeah, this guy got a nice body, but that one over there looks like his body's a little bit better. There's no such thing as not better. There's just not. There's no ceiling. There's no ceiling. Just like, as, just like as you as a person, you can always improve. There's no limit like, oh, you're just that. That's it. You can't improve no more. You No, you can always improve. Therefore, there's always going to be better. Therefore, when people think that they can find this person that's just going to satisfy them other than God or themselves, they think they're going to find it in people. They ne It's never going to happen. I don't give a fuck if you got 30 men or you got 30 women and do everything you want. You're still not going to be satisfied if you didn't look for it in yourself. And and how do I know that you don't look for it in yourselves? Because you're looking for it. You wouldn't be dealing with multiple women or men. It would not happen. Because when you find when you find greatness in yourself, you require it in yourself. You don't put your body out there with everybody and every any and everybody for them to play with the, your feelings or or you know that oh this girl I know this girl that fucked him and him last week. A man's not gonna want to fuck that. Neither is a woman. I know he's out here fucking this one to this one. Nah, I don't want that. I want a man that's all to myself. Think about it. When you start caring about yourself, you require that in other people. But this is what people do, man. They date multiple people for multiple reasons, and they still not going to be satisfied in the end. They, they actually believe that if they date multiple motherfuckers for this reason, this reason, and this reason, that it's going to fulfill them in some way. It's not going to do it. So they giving all these people un, unrealistic chances uh, uh, been with them off the bat because they are requiring these people to be perfect, but they don't require that in themselves. That's the biggest issue. That's all I got to say about it, y'all. Um, just be aware and understand why people do it. Why why, why men want to talk to multiple women? That's why. Because this woman might have this or might make him feel this type of way or whatever. Who knows why? Maybe this woman got this type of ass and this woman got this type of titties or something. Same thing with the women. Oh, because this guy got, he buys my weed. This one buys my gas money. This one pays my phone bill. All this bullshit. And then they will tell you in the end, they will tell you in the end that date multiple women or men until you find one that fulfills, that does everything that you want, which is going to be impossible. So they're on a chase of never ending <laughs> success. There's no end. You're never going to find somebody that does everything perfectly because that would be that would make them a perfect person. And there's no such thing. The only way you could get a perfect person is if you appreciate them. You appreciate the person you're with. And guess what? When you appreciate somebody you, you're talking to, you don't talk to more than one person because you appreciate that person. You see how that goes? No way around it. So all that talking to this one and this one and this one, they don't appreciate none of them people. They don't appreciate none of them women or men. That's why they talking to them off. You're not good enough. I need him for this. And I need him for that. You're not good enough. I need to fuck her and her and her too. Think about it. Think about everything I just said. I'm done with this video. Go back and listen to this video. This is why they do the shit they do, man. No way around it, man. No way around it. It's sad. It's sad. It's, it's, it's a fucked up situation, but it's true. So ultimately, man, when somebody really appreciates you, they you're good enough. 
You're good enough, plain and simple. And not only that, they try to, when somebody appreciates you for real, for real, they try to work on themselves too, so they can make you happy too. It ain't all about gimme, 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 gimme. And if you don't uh, measure up to what I, I want, you're not good enough, motherfucker. And I'm gonna go talk to Chad, Tyrone, James, and everybody else, cause you're not good enough. It, it's sickening, think about it. And the same thing with the men. You're not good enough, so I'm gonna fuck her, I'm gonna fuck her too, and I'm gonna fuck her too. But I'm going to say that they're just hoes and I love you so much and all this bullshit that they do. Man, they liars, man. People are full of shit. And I'm not saying I'm perfect, man. But I, I do not believe in I need to talk to multiple women to get this and this and this from them. That's bullshit. I come to myself for shit I need first before I even go to a woman. That's what grown people do. I don't get what a woman to use her as a fucking tool like I need you for anything basically if i'm if i'm talking to a woman it's because i want to not because i need this or i need that not even sex i could do that myself i really want to i'm just being honest I'm not trying to be funny so all in all man people use people for as tools man for what they want and be very careful because most people not only do they just use one they got multiple motherfuckers for different reasons and these people even though all these people they talk to they still won't, it still will not add up to be enough because they don't even know how to appreciate the ones they had, you know what I'm saying? Think about it, a man could have 80% or a woman could be 80% and people will still go chase that 20 because they think that there's some perfect person they're gonna run into one day. It's never gonna happen. So in the end, they play themselves by passing up on good women and men and not and, and by not, not working on themselves to require this 20% they looking for instead of looking for it in somebody else think about it if I'm so busy worried about uh, uh, this woman and that woman and that woman give me this or that instead of uh, trying to find it within myself and within my life how the fuck am I ever going to reach that I'm not because I'm always trying to depend on women to do that for me think I'm out man